Huwag niyo ako tawanan ha, pagtamaan ako ng kahit. What's up guys? Doc Reggie here, Certified Cosmetic Surgeon. And welcome to Doc Guides. And in this channel, I give tips, advices on skincare, aesthetic procedures, at iba pang pampaganda, as well as health and prevention, and product reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, at sana marami kayo matutunan. Okay, as you can see, we are outside again. And this time, we're in the venue of Philippine Hot Air Balloon Festival 2020. I'm here kasi this time kasama ako as a concessionaire. So if you're gonna be here, please visit us in the Takoyakin stall. Super sarap, whole baby octopus takoyak. Anyway, since we're going to be exposed to the sun, we all need sun protection. And one product I recommend, and I'm using this currently, is this. Rick's Sincerity Sunscreen. Kasama ito sa previous giveaway ko, so I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, I like this one because first, packaging niya. It's in a thin tube. Very, very convenient. Lagay lang ng konting line sa hand, directly sa face. If you have a mirror, lagay and keep it again. It's also water-based, so no greasy feeling. It's SPF 60, so very good duration of effect. Okay. Dagdag kaalaman from Doc Guides, what does SPF mean? Sun protection factor. 30 is the most common level. But nowadays, SPF 60 is already a good level. It means it's the duration of time it prolongs or delays the sun before you start to burn. So your skin color or type is a big factor. Sample, kung about 10 minutes ka before ka mag sunburn, if you use an SPF 15, 15 times longer ka protected. So 10 minutes times 15. 1, 2. 150 minutes or over 2 hours ka protected before ka masunburn. Ngayon, kung SPF 50, edit 10 times 50 is 500. 500 minutes or about 9 hours yun. Pero as we all aesthetic doctors and dermatologists recommend, every 2 hours, reapply your sunscreen. It's really not advisable to be exposed under the sun for very long. Saka the more SPF, the better the barrier. Imagine nyo na lang, kung walang sunscreen, 100 radiation rays or photons ang nakakaabot sa balat natin. If my SPF 30, mga 7 radiation rays na lang ang nakakalusot. If SPF 60, mga tatlo na lang. I hope gets you na. Now, speaking of barriers, difference ng SPF sa UPF, Yung isa sa mga sunscreens, sunblocks. Yung isa, ultraviolet protection factor sa fabrics like rash guards, swimwear, curtains, at iba pa. So ito guys, aesthetic side, anti-aging tip ito. Pero health and prevention din. It will help you from getting skin cancer. Sandali, <laughs> muntik na ako tama. <laughs> Sorry po, sinaharangan ko. Last common question. Different po ba ang sunblock at sunscreen? Before I answer, you have to know na may iba't ibang UV rays or ultraviolet rays. Most common is UVA and UVB. May UVC din which is galing sa mga welding machines and other industrial machinery. All of them cause skin cancer due to radiation. So to answer the question, yes, different ang dalawa. Si sunblock, as the name implies, it blocks the sun rays. So, barrier ang function niya. And usually, waterproof yan. Kaya karamihan, it's greasy. Si sunscreen naman, it is absorbed by the skin, activation of the skin vitamins and melanin-producing cells to protect us from the UV sun rays. Okay guys, yun lang naman. Make sure to apply sunblock, sunscreen whenever you are going to be exposed in the sun. Sana helpful sa inyo ang video na to. Ngayon, alam nyo na ang importance ng sunscreens. If hindi pa nakasubscribe, click the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell para updated kayo. Malay nyo, may giveaway. Share nyo ang vid and I'll see you in the next one.